All right, let's go ahead and let me uh, work out number two. Uh, number two, uh, they're all pretty much the same thing. Uh, so one, three, five, negative five, two, negative two, negative one, negative 14, one, five, four, 11, okay? Now, so here's the question. The question is, what if you try to do it at home and you don't have access to a graphing calculator? What do you do? Well, you know, there's a wonderful thing that exists around, well, that got commercialized in the 90s, and we are now attached to it every single second. This thing called the internet. And uh, on the uh, internet, well, before I connect to the internet, I need to uh, share my screen. For some reason, it got disconnected. So, so on the internet, uh, we will go ahead and type in RREF calculator, okay? So you can type in RREF calculator, and then, and then you can just uh, choose whichever one that it's uh, good. And we are going to, uh, let's see, let's see if the first one is good. All right, let's see if the first one is good. Oh, this is the one that I use, okay? So what you can do, you can just go ahead and choose the uh, size of the matrix and we'll say it's three by four, three rows and four columns. And then once you do that, it automatically pops up the uh, three rows and four columns. And then if you need to solve it, you can just go ahead and type in the numbers that you need to type in. So for question number two, I'm gonna type in negative one, and then, no, sorry, one, not negative one. Uh, number two, it's one, and then three, and then five, and then negative five. And then we have two, we have negative two, oops, negative two, and then we have negative one, and then we have negative 14. And then the next one would be one, and then five, and then four, oops, four, and then 11. I need to make sure that all the numbers are typed in properly. And uh, one, three, five, negative five, two, negative two, negative one, negative 14, one, five, four, 11. And now we'll press enter or go, and then it's gonna calculate. So this is actually what's happening. If you do it on paper, Okay, which we are not going to cover it, but if you are in AAC, they cover this. You actually have to do it row by row so that you get the uh, one, zero, zero, that kind of form right here at the end. So in AAC, you have to work it out all out by hand. Okay, but here, I mean, ultimately use a calculator. Why waste time to use do it by hand? So, so you can get the answer right here. And you just say, oh, I know what they are. It's negative three, six, and negative four. So negative three, six, and negative four. Do you get the same answer for number two? Yes, okay. And, uh, and of course, the inverse method would be one, three, five, and then two, negative two, negative one, one, five, four, and then inverse, and then uh, negative five, Negative 14, 11. So the question is, can I expect you to know how to do this on next Wednesday? Can you promise yourself that you can nail this? Like, got it. Nothing can go wrong. Okay. So make sure that you know what to type in on your calculator. All right. 